This week in the field, keeping your compositions simple and clutter-free. Happy December, everyone. My name is Scott Davenport, and welcome to In the Field. Thanks for joining me today. So, yeah, gosh, December 2017 already. And, uh, well, December, besides holidays and family, uh, I've got Death Valley on my mind. I'm heading out there at the end of the month to do some scouting for my workshop. It's coming up in February, and I have one space left. I hope that it's you that nabs that final seat, comes out, and has some fun in Death Valley with a bunch of photographers. We're going to have a good time. But today, we're going to talk about compositions and really simple compositions, keeping things uh, with a minimal amount of clutter in them. And uh, this uh, reminded me, this topic reminded me of a visit I had to Otay Lakes, which is in South San Diego County. First time I've ever been there. I was meeting up with Spencer to do a Photographers in Cars episode. I said, oh, let's get, anyway, let's get a shoot in beforehand. And uh, well, I took a whole bunch of footage out there. So let me just show you what was out there, what my main subject was, and what types of compositions did and didn't work for me. All right, stopping for coffee. Uh, I'm out in East Lake in the very southern part of California. I guess technically this is no longer San Diego. I guess it's San Diego County, not San Diego City. I'm doing an inland shoot this week, uh, this weekend. It's Sunday morning. It's dark. Uh, I just went past the location. It's completely black out there, so there's no point in being there. So I came back to civilization, uh, grabbed some caffeine, and then uh, head on out there and get the sunrise shoot. Slightly better view of the lake now. Has a few dead trees hanging out in the middle there. Those are kind of cool. It's not too much happening in the sky. It's it's as mentioned. It's very overcast. Sky will be coming up. Uh, sky will be coming up. The sky's already up, Scott. Maybe you're not up. The sun will be coming up. Kind of the camera left here. So I'm thinking about setting up where I'm standing. Uh, I want to show you the road here though, because it's kind of a challenge. Is I'm right next to the road, and there is no place else to stand here. So cars come whipping around here. I cannot stand behind my tripod. I'm gonna need to be next to it, facing out here. Make sure I stay, uh, they stay safe and don't get clipped by any traffic. All right, simple setup. Just framing up with the land mass, more or less dead center. I'm just gonna use the, the top part as negative space. F8, letting the camera do everything else. It's snapping focus great, which I was surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised. Is that something that Sony's I've had trouble with? Uh, my Nikon would be no problem. And Sony's doing swimmingly today, so that's great. Uh, so just framing up something simple. And uh, as the, the light starts to change, take a few more shots and really just uh, kind of work the scene. There's some, there's some space down to the right around the corner there. Might get down a little bit lower on these if the, the lighting situation changes. Starting to brighten up out here. And a uh, little bit of a, uh, a race with some of the morning uh, boaters and canoers that are coming out. The water is nice and still right now. And, you know, just a few seconds on the, the shutter, smooth that out. And even just one or two seconds, you get some nice little bit of rippling going on in the water. I'm not sure if they're going to be going into this little cove here or heading out farther into the lake. So I'm going to move up the road a bit and get one or two more compositions and then see what the sky starts to do. Because it is still uh, kind of um, kind of pretty overcast here, but maybe that'll break up a little bit. And sure enough, the morning boaters have moved into kind of what ended up being my main subject here. Actually, it's working pretty well because they're giving these trees scale. So I've got a person in the canoe. There's another guy standing up on another like a uh, pedal canoe. Uh, this is kind of cool. I'm kind of waiting for them to drift into compositionally pleasing spots in the frame. I've climbed down to the water's edge uh, and trying to get one more advantage on these trees. This composition is just too busy for me. There's too much going on. Um, the, the color palette's not bad, but I really want to isolate those trees. So I'm going to climb back up the hill part way and see if I can get a longer lens to reach over some of this stuff in the foreground and just get in those center trees. I can't say I'm really feeling this last shot. It's, um, it's just not working for me. I'm not getting the, the, the type of reach. Even if I switch to like the 70 to 200, uh, it's just, it, it's just, it's, I'm not feeling it. It's just not working for me. So uh, I'm gonna shift gears and perhaps do some either like uh, close-up subject studies, maybe some intentional motion blur, like really close up on the reeds. You know, just play and experiment since the, the lighting, is, the sun's not really gonna break but it's making a very nice, soft, even light. And uh, 
you know, very, uh, very calm and relaxed pace this morning, which, uh, which, you know, that isn't all that bad. Oh man, I just finished up a great morning with Spencer. Had a good time out at the lake. I got some good photos, I think. And uh, now I am looking forward to getting home, seeing the family, getting some breakfast. After I'd done a lot of the shooting of those trees in the lake, and I tried uh, that uh, lower to the shoreline composition that just didn't work for me, tried some of those you know, subject studies, and honestly, those didn't work out for me as well. You know, there were some interesting trees there, but I just could not get a, a good framing on there, at least something that I was happy with. So at, at the end of it, it was about those trees in the lake. Although I will say one of the compositions that I liked that wasn't as clean uh, in terms of you know things in the frame, but some of the, the shoreline trees that framed the shot. So you know think of it as a, a wider angle shot. You saw this in the footage where you're, you're, you're back a little bit and the trees on the shore are giving some type of natural vignette really or a frame for the trees that are sitting out in the middle of the lake. So that composition, although busier, also worked for me as well. And the tip of the week is, if you couldn't guess, is to keep your compositions simple. Uh, something I, I talk about in my workshops is photography is an art of exclusion. You have the choice as a photographer of what to eliminate from the frame. And sometimes you do that with the framing in your camera, and sometimes maybe you need to do that with some retouching in post-processing if it's something you can't eliminate from the camera frame. But uh, you know, it's the opposite of a, an art, say, like painting, where you are adding things to a canvas. You decide what to put on the canvas. Photography is the reverse. So simplifying your compositions can help you make stronger photos. So think about what is it that you don't want in the frame and set yourself up to be able to do that. And that's gonna do it for this week's In the Field. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know somehow. Comments on the video are great. Social share is always appreciated. And if you've got questions about photography, hit me up, contact me through my website, comments on the video below, however you'd like to get a hold of me. And I usually turn answers around in a day or two. And um, your questions really are more meaningful than I can really describe. They do feed the idea engine for the next set of videos. So keep asking those questions. And you know, hopefully my answers are helping you out. I can, I can guarantee your questions are making me think more about my photography. And the whole goal is we get better together. So with that, until next time, my name is Scott Davenport and happy shooting.